uh, I greet you once again. I also welcome you to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we'll be dealing with uh, data handling. Let's look at this question is 3.2. It says that the following two tables shows the result for grade 12 learners for their June examination in Mathematical Literacy Paper 1. Study the tables and answer the questions that follow. The results are given as a total out of 100, meaning that these results are given uh, out of total of 100. Like, for example, the first learner who gets 84 is 34 out of 100. 84 of 100, 22 of 100, 34 of 100, 65 of 100, 49 of 100, 83 of 100, 37 of 100, up to 28 of 100. Then we move to class B. Class B, we are having 24 up to 16. That is the information that we are having here. So you should not forget the kind of information that we have. We are having max of learners out of 100. And the most important thing is to remember that when a learner get marks, when a learner receive the scripts or the marks that you receive at school, a teacher needed to mark and count all the ticks. So this information, it was obtained through counting. You should not forget that because this is the marks and we obtain marks through counting. It's very much important to understand that. Let's, let's check the first question, 3.2.1. Is this an example of discrete or continuous? So what, do you, what you need to understand is that when we are dealing with a discrete data, these are data that are obtained through counting. Continuous are data that are obtained through measuring. This is a discrete data because a teacher needed to count all the ticks on the script. So we are going to say this is what? Discrete. This is a discrete data or data. 3.2.2. 3.2.2, it says that determine the median for class A. The median for class A, obviously we know that median is a middle number in class A. So what we need to do there is to first arrange this in descending, in ascending order, I mean. You arrange this in ascending order. That is the first step. You don't need to be lazy because there is marks for arranging. So let's begin to arrange together. Um, I've arranged it in this box. We know that is 22, 26, 28, 32. Or oh, 30, I mean 32, 33, 34, 34, 34, 35, 37, 38, 42, 43, 45, 46, 48, 49, 52, 56, 65, 69, 73, 75, 79, 83, 84, 88, and 92. So if we check the position that we have, we are having 30 positions. Because we are having 30 positions, we are going to say 30 divided by 2 so that we can be able to find where our mean is located. So because now we are getting 15, we know that our median is found between position 15 and position 16. We look at position 15 and position 16. Let's count and check where is position 15. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. So in this case, our median is going to be in position 15, which is 43. And position 16, which is 45. Because we are adding two numbers, we divide it by two. None of these two numbers is our median. What we know is that our median is between 43 and 45. So we are now going to say 43 plus 45, which is 88. 
88 divided by 2. 88 divided by 2 is is uh, 88 divided by 2 is equal to 44. Our median is 44. Our median is 44. Moving to the next question, which is 3.2.3. 3. 3.2.3, it says that. Calculate the value of A for class B. If the mean is 48, 53. So because now they are saying calculate the mean, we are going to say the mean. We must use the mean equation. The mean is equals to the sum of data. Divide by what? The total. The total number of data. The sum of data Divide by the total number of data. And then if you can check here, the mean is given. We have the mean. So in the mean, we're going to write 48, 53, which is equal to the sum. We must add all the information, all this information, all these numbers that we have in table B. So when you add everything, you take your calculator. With a calculator, let's begin to add everything together. I find that my answer is 1,430. I got 1,430 plus A, which is divided by what? How many data do we have? We're having 80. Divide by 80. Now we must calculate the value of what? The value of A. So what we need to do here is to try to make this one a fraction also because we're having fraction at the other side. Then you cross multiply. Say 1 multiplied by 1430 plus A is still going to give you what? 1430 plus A, which is equals to do the cross multiplication. Mm, now we have 48, 53 multiplied by 80. I find that my answer is 1455,9. So we have 1455,9. So now we are solving for A. So the value of A here is going to be, we take this one to the other side. Is 1455,9 minus 1430. So we remove 1430 from that. 1430. We found that our answer here is 25,9. Our answer is 25,9. 25,9. And then if you look at the question, it says that uh, calculate the value of A for class B if the mean is. So because we are talking about the max here, we cannot have 25,9 max. So this one is going to be approximately uh, 26. Our answer is going to be 26. That's how we calculate the value of A. Moving to 3.3. Look at 3.3. It says that um, in a kickboxing class, the learner were measured and their height in meters were recorded as follows. Table 6. Height in meters. We have 1,44, 0,88, 1,75, 1,85, 1, 1,38, 1,62, 1,82, 1,48, 2,04, 1,28, 2,82. Bruce Lee stated that the range height for this set of data is more than double the height of a shortest learner. Show by means of calculation whether this statement is correct or not. 
okay is 3.2.4 they're talking about the range and we know that range is equals to highest minus lowest in this case our highest here is 2.04 2,04 minus the lowest in this case our lowest is 0, 0,82 0, 0,82 we found that the difference between the two 2,04 minus 0, 0,88 our answer is 1,16 1,16 so don't forget there is a claim There is a claim here. It's 1,82, not not 1,82, not 1,88. My mistake. I made a mistake here when I do the calculations. Uh, 1,22. Our difference here is 1,22, not what I have written. 1,22. The claim says that the data set is more than the double of the double is more than double the height of the shortest learner so what we need to do we must go and check the shortest learner here the shortest learner here is 0, 0,82 so we are going to say uh, we have to double this 0, 0,82 let's double it we multiply it by 2 to check if this is going to make sense 0, 0,82 multiply by 2 is 1,64, 1,64, 1,64. And they are saying that uh, Bruce Lee stated that the range height for this data is more than double the height of the shortest learner. So now they are claiming that this range is going to be bigger than when we double the shortest learner. And when we check, the range is 1,22. But when we double the height of a shortest learner, we are finding 1,64, which is bigger than what? The range. So we can see that the claim is not true. The claim is not true. I don't have a space here. Don't forget to write that the claim is not true. Thank you very much for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to ask questions on the comment section. Thank you. I will see you on the next video.